right, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. We are at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and as you can see uh, right beside us is the online, the number one online TV show Munga Eve. Mm -hmm. Na tunataka kujua bana what's up today because the last time tuliko hapa alikuwa na peperuka moja kwa moja hadi maeneo ya Europe. <laughs> Eve Mambo. Kwa sana commentator. Eh uh -huh. leo tunaona umefika hapo hivi JKI tunataka tukujua shughuli ni gani tunaona umepiga audits twende Qatar na audits shughuli ni gani. Ah uh, shughuli ni hiyo. Uh, thank you so much guys for coming. Uh, first of all and today we are heading to Qatar, courtesy of Audubets Kenya. Of course, I'm sure mbeko mkio nanga hizi vitu, watu wenye wana wachingi video zangu wana wana nanga hizi squeeze back za tuene Qatar na Audubet. And finally, the day is here. We are leaving as a team. I'm not going alone. We have uh, various influencers. We have uh, we have Jackie Vike, we have Adigo, we have... Who else? <laughs> Who else do you have? We have a few to go now to Tunenda Nawao. Some of them being uh, winners, Pia. Juwatu al Tukwa Tunawambia Pale. Uneza Cheza na win. Tipia Kwenda Qatar. Kuna wenye wame win. Tunenda Pamoja Nawao. Na wame fry sana. It's a lifetime experience. I'm really uh, excited about it. And thank you so much to Audubets Kenya for this opportunity. Kwenda Kwangalea World Cup. It's a great opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, so um, if so easy, uh, the first few days, World Cup says so group stages, the matches are being played, so easy, but uh, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. are you guys going stay in finals for how many days? Okay, unfortunately, we are not going to stay until the finals because mm -hmm. we will be having another group going because mm -hmm. we are a very big family to go We will be having other winners going, we will be having other influencers as well going for the, I think, couple up December pia watakuwa wakienda so for the days that you are going to stay uh, tulikuwa tumiambiwa hapo awali but you are having some changes because the the match that you are going to watch will be happening on Sunday so kuna changes hapa pale we are yet to confirm when we will be coming back Okay, if Labda, which criteria was used choosing the influencers ambao wanaelekea kule hivyo maeneo ya Qatar? Like, walitumia criteria gani? Because we know so many influencers <laughs> wana work na Audibet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are so many uh, influencers who works with Audibet. Mm -hmm. But if you are, uh, kama uko pale Audibet ndani, I'm sure you'll know kuna kuanga na pia cheza game, kuna kuna Audibet pia. Mm -hmm. So, I'm really not, I'm really not sure. I would not want to talk something that I'm not sure about, about the criteria. But um, I tend to believe that every influencer who works under Audibet will get an opportunity to go and maybe kama kuna mwenye ambaye hataweza kwenda this time round of course we're going to have other opportunities coming up pia wataenda yeah i believe uh, maybe agree na hizo kuja ajibu but uh, najua kila mtu kila mtu atapata opportunity yake ya kwenda maybe next time we won't be the one going some someone else will be going Okay, yeah. if how does it feel being one of the chosen few when you are in Qatar court game? You have so many influencers when you work in the debate, but you are among the chosen few. Okay, first of all, I thank God for the opportunity. I never take anything for granted. Uh, being on, yani, uh, kwa any boardroom and then people come up and think about my name, I say it's the favor of God and I thank God for that opportunity. And also, I thank my fans for always supporting me because if it's not for them, I wouldn't be having great numbers. I wouldn't be, and kama sina numbers, siwezi kuwa na uwezo wa kupea client value. So I believe in God na pia our mafans wangu. Okay. Yeah. If everywhere in Akonga, if Trevor, mm -hmm. if Trevor, the last time we can kule vom li So this yeah. time, mm -hmm. are you going with him? Unfortunately, it's going to be the first trip that I'm going alone. Mm -hmm. Um, a little bit scared because every time at a and Mombasa, every time that I'm going somewhere with Trevor, he always does everything. Yani, mina konga tu kale tu, mina kufuata kabani, kabani airport, he does the checking in and everything. But uh, it's a great opportunity. Unfortunately, Hatunge na sisi wata wawili because there's a lot of work that we are doing, especially this weekend. There are a lot of uh, events that are coming up. So Hatunge is a kwenda sisi wata wawili because of various reasons. But um, it's a great opportunity. Yeah, I hope next time to end up a mojo. Unajua pia mpira, inataka mkiwa na boi hapo kando. 
Okay, being a content creator, you are heading to Qatar. Mm -hmm. um, are we expecting you to be doing content to Kuivo, maybe kwa Munga, if, if mm -hmm. not kwa Instafem? Yeah, of course. I'm going to look of the ways that I'm going to do content. Uh, I think Jackie Vicky not any shoot. Uh, but you also have video directors from Odibet Kenya. They will be shooting the content. And also I'm looking for that metro guy. Mwenyame kwa kitrend. By the way, come on our TV video. Uh, reach me out apo mungai underscore eve on Instagram. I've been trying to reach you out but unfortunately siwezi ku you know on TikTok you cannot text somebody kama am haja ku follow na wewe follow exactly so i'm looking for that is one interview that i would really want to do because that guy is really trending everybody is talking about metro metro i'd like to talk uh, to him to ski a peer story yake kidogo because he's a kenyan and he's doing great he's representing us so well there and also any opportunity any content that will be coming up of course i'll be I'll be in a position to do it. I believe so. Uh, yeah. Donia, uh, what was that one thing that you look up to when uh, going to Qatar that you are maybe said some one or two things around? Mm -hmm. What is that one thing that Kazamani Sana kind of won up on Okay. Uh, who is that one person that you would love to be come up there? Uh -huh. As a player, that one person that I would have loved so much to see, it's of course CR7, but unfortunately, EO game to talk about Kiangalia, CEO of Portugal, so I don't think I'll be able to see him, but maybe next time. Okay, I love Ronaldo, but unfortunately, I'm not supporting Portugal. I love Ronaldo, but unfortunately, I'm not supporting Portugal. I'm supporting Brazil. I know Neymar from there. But okay, I don't know a lot about football, but I'm learning. Yeah. Maybe ni kataka kuliza iswali. Director wako, mpenzi wako, noho yako, Director Trevor, ateweza kubaki. Maybe me plan kukonekt na ye VP, na maybe kama kuna zawadi utamletea, kuna surprise unampangia juu. Amiko kifanya kazi mzuri. Na hizi kumbili tatu, utabaki peke yake, baridi neza mmaliza, libuni neza mchukua. Ok, by the way, I think we've been together, me and Trevor, for four years, dating. And staying together in the same house is two years now. And I don't think, not I don't think, Asijawai, there's not even a single day in yet Shaikwa, Ati Leo, ni Melalasjua, Pia, Melalasjua. I don't know how it happens, but it has never happened. Actually, this is the first time that I'm going to Tutakuwa Sasa. He safari me to separate in some type of way. But of course, Zawadi Lazima, I mean, it's just a natural dollar. So, it's just a kama mimi. Of course, Lazima ni mlete Zawadi. Tenye nita walete Zawadi, by the way. Okay, we have so many people who look up to you, Eve. Uh, now when you are a young uh, content creator, when you are a fan now that uh, you have a chance, and they are looking, they, 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 right now they are watching you, what can you tell them? What can you tell so that at least uh, one day, hata kama hawata kwa kama munga Eve, they will be somewhere. Okay, uh, to everybody who looks uh, up to me, anangalia job yangu inamfurahisha, those who text me, those who tell me I'm doing a great job, they would like to be like me, I would tell them it's a journey, first of all, and it's a great, it's a great thing to admire someone, but uh, it comes with a lot of hard work, like you really have to work hard, it comes with a lot of sacrifices, and also what I would like to tell young people, if you see somebody maybe a size yako hapo ju, don't just ignore about her journey and just focus on how she doesn't, he or she doesn't even deserve it, vitu kama hizo, look at the journey, because it's step by step. What I would tell them is step by step, just work. Maybe you're not in my field, you're doing something else out there. Just continue working hard and also be a prayerful person because Pia Mungu, I believe when God says yes, nobody can say no. So if you're working hard and you're praying, God will always ensure that your prayers are answered. But the secret is working hard, praying hard and be ready to Yani hizo sacrifices, hizo risks zenye unogo panga kutek. Just be ready for them. And then you just leave everything to God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Normally, maybe, since I have a favorite job, but I don't know. Let's know it, Kavisa, you still know.
Okay, how I come up with the questions that I do, that's a great question. But I would say that uh, one thing, being in the industry for now, this is the second year that I'm in the industry. I joined YouTube November 2020 and right now you're in 2022, actually November, a coincidence. So I would say that being in the industry for quite some time, I, it has helped me a lot to learn how to place my questions. Ukiangale interviews zangu ataza. Two months ago, they are totally different from now. The last years, they were different from Saizi. So that experience, now Saizi no inakuja kuni hit. Mbona watu kiena job wana sema ngu kwen experience. Like that experience, ime nisa idea sana, sana. And also uh, being, uh, make, ensuring that every time ni, najua tu, nini na happen. I don't know who anajua aji, but... Yani, God to ananiwezesha kujua anything that is happening, being online, checking out pages that do the same thing that you do, maybe uh, Nairobi Gossip, Izo pages kama Izo. And also, if I, have an, if, I, if I have an interview, I always make sure that I research. If I've, there are some people that uh, probably I don't research because ni mewa follow for long, najua. Yani, najua vitu zao, yani yata nikipata na nae hapa saizi, sizi kosa kitu ya kumuliza. So, such things, uh, sometimes if I'm meeting Eric kama right now i wouldn't lack a question to ask him but uh, there are some interviews that i need proper planning especially if it's the first exclusive with an artist because there are some things that happen years back kama si uko kwa industry so itabidi niangalie niangalie kwa blogs niangalie nini likwa nini li happen but imagine research yangu I won't lie, I nafanyanga usiku. Most of the time, I don't have an interview and I do my research maybe even 20 or 30 minutes to the interview, but sometimes I do pia usiku. Uh, the reason down don't nafanyanga online is because I think his job yetu may affect to some... At some point, kama saa moja naweza kuwa nasikia kulala, but ikisha fika hapo saa tano, sisiki kulala, sana jipatatena na lala maybe saa kumi. I think, hizo hizo nini... Uh, routine yangu ya kulala it got messed up because of this job so unapata usiku sisiki kulala asubuhi asubuhi ndo nasikia kulala yeah and, and so that I know that you uh, maybe until now ni najua nimekuwa celebrity ndio but you still have some okay uh, i would say i have visions and those are the things that keep uh, me going not really i have people that i look up to but in some different ways there's people that i look up to and they are not even in the industry there are some people i look up to when it comes to right now the person who inspires me so much when it comes to corporate and brands is kate actress i love seeing her billboards all over walking around kwa billboard it inspires me so much and i feel like this is gonna be me sometimes in the near future yeah Okay, if taking you back to Mamuna Qatar, Sindio, I'm not going to put a spot in the Ah, uh, really? You see, Nijari? Qatar now, mm -hmm. uh, in your country, now hosts this edition of the World Cup. Yeah. However, countries in Europe, I'm going mm. it was not right for a country in Mbaye, in a Semekana Kombe, I'm going to put human rights in a host World Cup. Na watu wakasema, oh, hizi vwanja zimetengenezo na people, wenye waliwawa hapa and stuff. Mm. What's your opinion on that? Like, do you think watu wanafaa to make opinions on uh, Qatar hosting the World Cup mm -hmm. based on human rights? Mm -hmm. Ama ni mambo ya watu kuleta politics into football? Okay, one thing I would say, I don't know the criteria that is used to choose a World Cup kuenda kwa country fulani. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think I'm in any position to be... Uh, discussing such matters because Sijui wali amwaji kweni Qatar. Of course, there have been a lot of issues because uh, Pia Qatar wakona rules zao zenye unapata some countries we don't support ama kwetu they are okay. So I don't, I'm, I, I really wouldn't want to address something that I'm not sure about because najua pia uneza ongea hapo ujitanganye. So I don't know what is the criteria that they use hapo kuchagua country yenye World Cup ndo ikuwe. Maybe people can help us up down in the comment section. Ed Buto Ambieni, by the way, which criteria is used to choose a country yenye World Cup ita happen? Let us know hapo kwa comment section. Yeah. Uh, uh, we understand kwa na mungu wa diaspora. Yeah. One, one of the diasporas in Qatar. So are you looking forward to maybe meet up with them or uh, have a meet up with them, Mama? What's your plan? Actually, most of them, uh, I'm sure what I'll do through this video because I had not posted about the trip. Actually, the only thing that I posted today, I just asked Mtu Kamba Neza ni link up na that metro guy. And so many people were like, ah, where? 
unataka kujua about yeye na uko Kenya uko Qatar people didn't understand like why am i asking about the guy why and i'm back in Kenya of course uh, it would be a pleasure to meet with them although i'm not unajua pia watu huko wanakwanga wako job unapata maybe they are very busy but always actually even last time that i went to uh, cyprus i had an opportunity to meet some of them some of my fans if you are in qatar and you love me or you love my content and you are watching this i wouldn't mind meeting them of course yeah okay eva lastly as we finish mm -hmm. uh, uh, i wanted to ask you that uh, in that uh, now you are traveling uh, to uh, qatar eh? and we have uh, the perception that most of our ladies there they are being mistreated by the arabs eh? uh, what is your approach as you are now leaving this eh? what do you think uh, what is your perception as you as you are now going to uh, uh, to qatar what do you think uh, those arabs are going to treat you like what what do what do you expect mm -hmm. okay uh, about treating me <laughs> I don't think somebody can mistreat me because uh, why <laughs> unless maybe you have an argument or something but about uh, I'm excited about the trip because I I just hope maybe I can be able to interact with some of them to be sure is it true these things actually happens ama ni stories tunasikia ngono tena kama unaenda kujionea kitu unajua so I would really love to interact with some of them maybe they tell me if it's true ni vitu wanapitianga kule and yeah it's a learning opportunity i would really love to know whether it's true any ni kama umepelekwa mahali sasa ujionee ujue kama ni ukweli ama sio ukweli yeah okay, okay so um unajua hapa Kenya kuna anti mado sasa i mean anti madil so <laughs> we think when your sister madil i mean the other day you posted about uh, i think kasoko yeah uh and uh, to I mean could you please tell us about that? Yeah, uh the other day I signed a deal with Kasoko. It's actually the best car dealing company that we have in True Five Four. And uh um, unfortunately it came when I had these plans Zaku Zakuenda Qatar, we were supposed to shoot something yesterday, but unfortunately Haiku happened. But it is on. We are supposed to release more videos about the same and what to attend Kuyona. And once more, thank you so much to my fans for always supporting me. Singe kuapa bila nyinyaki. That's why I'm getting opportunities to get those deals. Yeah.